Britain's International Development Minister Mike Foster says the UK is there to help quake devastated Haiti for the long haul. Mr. Foster on Tuesday toured camps and a hospital in the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince. He told journalists, quote, No one walks away from the scenes of devastation I have seen today in 18 months. End quote. The International Development Minister said the British government had sent $30 million in emergency funds to Haiti in the immediate aftermath of the quake. He said British aid money would be disbursed to multilateral partners like the World Bank. St. Lucia's Home Affairs Minister Guy Mayers has expressed concern about police officers doing private work without the permission of the police commissioner. The minister wants the practice stopped. He says anyone wanting the services of police officers should comply with the regulations government, governing employment. Minister Myers' concerns come against the backdrop of the recent shooting death of a police officer and the wounding of his partner as they escorted a night deposit for a private local concern. The Dominica government has been criticized over its decision to grant a license for an asphalt plant on the island. Environmentalist Atherton Martin says the decision can hurt conservation efforts and harm Dominica's Nature Island brand. The plant is expected to be located in the West Coast area along the Leu River, one of the island's largest rivers. Mr. Martin says the Roosevelt's current administration is playing games with the natural resources of the country. The Guyana government says it wants to reduce by half the number of HIV-positive people who are tuberculosis patients. An estimated 23% of TB patients in Guyana are also living with HIV. The figure marks a 10% reduction compared to pre-2007 when 33 of TB patients were among those diagnosed as HIV-positive. Health Minister Leslie Ramsamy says most of the ex estimated 60 people who die from TB in Guyana annually are HIV positive. Wednesday was observed as World Tuberculosis Day. And that is your Caribbean Brief for Wednesday, March 24th. Thanks for watching.